He was the drug lord whose murderous campaign of narco-terrorism helped transform his native Colombia into the murder capital of the world. Thousands lost their lives during Pablo Escobar's reign at the top of the infamous Medellin cartel, a powerful drug trafficking ring which at its peak brought in more than 60 million US dollars per day and supplied an estimated 80% of all cocaine smuggled into the US. We speak to his son, Juan Pablo Escobar, who's published his second book about his father. More than 20 years after Pablo Escobar's death, cocaine production and consumption is increasing. What's failing in the fight against drugs? The fight against drugs has been lost for decades. It's lost because clearly the dirty play of prohibition is the best propaganda to incite the consumption of these illicit drugs. And it's a big business to forbid. The powerful benefit the most from prohibition, the Americans. Why do they entertain us with small scandals around the world and in Latin America, but they don't tell us what I reveal in my new book about my father's connections with the CIA and the DEA, which he used to traffic drugs?